It is the middle of the Triassic era. Small dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are beginning their conquest of the world with small creatures such as Peninsosaurus. This is South America, 228 million years ago, where the dinosaurs are barely evolving and taking their first steps onto in the world. There are very few trees around in the lake, giving the herbivores here little cover from attack. Most peninsula uh, herds are migratory. They only come here for during the rushes of the seasons. However, waiting for them are carnivores and pack hunters like never before. By now, most of the swords have left the lake, leaving it barren. Even the lake still small. However, some have some herds have barely arrived here. This young female uh, takes in the lake, walking in it. The lake water is so high, it nearly covers the entire body. They are not alone. These large Third carnivores is a herbivores. They are the largest carnivores in South America uh, in 228 million years. Being in such a large number, here this mean this is a pack. This one is probably the leader. Although not hungry from not hungry, they are not migratory animals like the peninsula sources. They're permanent residents. This pack of five believe it contains many contains a means a not so high art construction. Each one sniffs the air, searching for prey to ambush and kill. The Peninsosaurus, the Peninsosaurus herd is still at the at the lake. They do not know what will happen in this lake battleground. By midsummer, her the Peninsosaurus herd herd moves on from the lake. With it. The herbivores is very gone. All but one remains here. A small mastodon creature appears. Like the herbivores, this creature er, is a is a permanent resident in the area. Its name, Eoraptor. It is so far classified as the first dinosaur are to appear here in the world. Because of their small size, they're e they are easily picked on by larger predators such as Thesauruses. So when hungry, these Thesauruses will easily take down a large attack Eoraptors. The rare authorities aren't looking for a feast, they're just here for the water. But as the lake will, as the lake will soon dry up, up there will be none left for any animal in the area. This male eel raptor is slowly stalking anything that comes into his sight. So far, there's nothing. All he can see now. Our herbivores is talking 
the plains. This little pac man here spots a Penansosaurus. Alone or in a pack, they can easily take down any animal. However, they usually work alone in these dry areas. Stalking. He continues his chase until he finally grabs one. And then one of He makes the kill. Take down one of the eel raptors. Working as a pack, they can kill anything. However, with this small meal, they, it won't be enough to feed the two of them. Losing one of the pack members is tough on this eel raptor. But usually in this cruel world, so it's to kill or be killed. He soon scavenges on a dead body he left earlier. He soon leaves it again, but he won't be back for it. This eel raptor is definitely hungry, but it's ambushed and killed. By a herosaurus. But their main source of food now will be left. The herosaurus will soon turn on to the eel raptors, small size for food. However, when if the eel raptor here dies, so will the herosaurus. Dead bodies of the Penansosaurus are everywhere. This one was killed by the most likely an eel raptor. As some of the pack members sleep, other herodosauruses take their chances at finding more food. In months, the lake is all but dried up. Only a small portion remains. These two eel raptors are fight are in need of water in which the resident Herosaurus is now sleeping. They slowly make their way towards the water. However, there are three of the pack members have left the or leaving the area. They can no longer stay in the resident home. They must follow the Peninsula herd that they love so much. In the pack of three, they can easily take on on more than thirty peninsula sources. Quietly, the eel raptors sleep. Not to startle the large herd sources that are left. However, it is more likely that the Herosaurus will leave the area because of the large size.